Good morning, gentle friends. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. So last night for dinner, or dinner-ish, last meal of the day, I made a fruit and yogurt bowl, but I didn't finish it. So I kept, this is the other half of it. And that has some Noosa raspberry yogurt. And then I mixed in some dragon fruit food powder, which is why it's this gorgeous pink color. And then there are raspberries, pomegranates, blueberries, and banana. And I was trying to think, yes, I could just eat that this morning, but I decided to do some waffle yogurt stacks. So I have some King Arthur flour, super grain pancake mix, that has all kinds of goody bits in there. And this particular one is 180 calories for half a cup of mix. Now, by comparison, Birch Benders, uh, which I have as well, I have their organic classic one. The Birch Bender one is 120 calories for a quarter of a cup. This is 180 calories for a half a cup. So there are definitely differences from brand to brand. In this particular one, they tell you to use egg, oil, milk, and the mix. I'm gonna use egg yolk. I just have a little chicken egg. I'm gonna use the yolk only. Then as my oil substitute, I'm going to use applesauce. And then I have 2% milk. So that's the mix that I'm going to do. I'm just gonna use my little dash mini waffle iron to create the waffles. Then I'm gonna layer the waffles with the yogurt mix. I'm gonna to top that with some fresh raspberries and blueberries. This is some of that dragon fruit powder that uh, I made up. And so I'm gonna put that over the top and I'm gonna have that with a couple of tablespoons of Butternut Mountain Farm maple syrup. And that, my dear friends, will be breakfast. Since it is so cold out today, I'm gonna run my oven uh, to sort of heat up this end of the house. And I was like, what can I cook that would be great for me and lets me use my oven? And I'm gonna do some roasted veggies with all this gorgeous produce that I have from Kroger and Misfit Market. So I went through to look at sort of what I had that would have a similar cook time. And here is the veggies that I'm gonna to do today. So I'm gonna do some Brussels sprouts. And these little guys are baby white turnips. And I have like five left of those. They look like radishes, but they're turnips. Then I have some baby potatoes, some green beans, I had bought a bag of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot mix. Then this is a purple head turnip. And on one of my wee orders, I had ordered some organic roasted peeled chestnuts. Now this, I haven't opened these yet. They come in um, five packs and they're just organic chestnuts. So, I thought those might be nice. Let's open the bag and see what they look like, how they come. All right, so they come in a bag like that. And then, oh, okay. So then they just look like that. So I'm going to put one little uh, bag of those in there. Let me try one first. Oh, it's very soft. Mm. Okay. That's going to be interesting roasted. I might do a couple of packs of that. Let me see. What do we got calories wise? So they are... 
10 servings per container means that they're counting that's weird okay. oh okay I see alright so there are 5 bags in there and each bag this size bag contains 2 so it's 100 calories per bag okay so all I need to do for these is top and bottom the turnips split the Brussels sprouts in half I'm gonna have or quarter the potatoes the green beans are pretty much I'm just gonna check for any of them that have that still have their little stemmy bit on there I'll clean those up if I need to I don't need to do anything with the broccoli cauliflower and carrots and then the turnip I'm just going to cut up now seasoning I've got a couple of different things that I'm gonna do so I'll toss those in some grapeseed oil and then I have normal Italian seasoning I'm also going to use some nutritional yeast flakes I have some of my Hoosier Hill Farm white cheddar powder and this is the dry ranch mix that I made so I think I'll just kind of put a little bit of different things on different things and then really it's quite straightforward you just put them in the in the oven in the description box I have written a full sort of blurb about what veggies to cook at how long and at what temperature there are some fantastic reference links and charts in there so everything that you need to know about doing your own roasted veggies will be in the description box hey guys oh, welcome back for lunch so the roasted veggies are just going to be finishing up here very shortly and so I'm going to have those with now this is the Cornish hen that I took everything off of yesterday so I'm going to have basically half the bird so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to reheat that and then in here I'm going to do kind of like a, a chicken gravy this is two cups of water two tablespoons of the homemade um, chicken bouillon that powder that I made a tablespoon of flour a tablespoon of cornstarch and that's for thickening and then a tablespoon of Dijon mustard which is just tasty so this I'm gonna put in the pan and basically just reduce that down to a gravy because it's quite liquidy now and by the time that's finished the veggies should be finished and we'll be ready to go good evening welcome back so I am not gonna ramble as long <laughs> these videos keep getting longer and longer and longer so okay um, today okay if you have been with me a while you know that when all this stuff storm stuff happens I get inflammatory gains it's a pretty common thing last year a, a, a deal like what we have going on right now I was averaging between 14 and 20 pounds in inflammation in a 24-hour period so and I've told you before I weigh every day kind of tracking that so I was not expecting um, I mean I knew I could feel my chest was tight my hands are tight my feet hurt my back hurts it right you know I, I knew that I was up <laughs> I can tell because I have to squish to get through the baby gate <laughs> when I'm when I'm poofed but but it's only an 8.6 
pound poof, where normally it would be 15 pounds. So I think that that is a good sign that what I'm doing is working. So very happy about that. Not happy to be poofed, but very happy about the degree of poof. Um, let me see. My very pretty breakfast. I was very happy with that. That turned out well. Um, it, it was okay in terms of like taste wise, it was all right. Um, it wasn't, I, <clears throat> I don't think that I would be like, Ooh, let me do that again tomorrow. Uh, I just, yeah, it was okay. And then what did I have for lunch? By lunch, I was actually hurting pretty bad. So I was like, all right, let me just heat up this Cornish hen. Let me make this gravy and the roasted veggies. For me, roasted veggies are okay, but they, they're not pretty. They lose their color. They all go kind of womp, womp, womp. And so I don't do them very often, but I was thinking about with some of what I have left over, I think I'm going to do, um, a, a roast veggie bowl with like hummus dressing and something like that. Maybe some Italian, not Italian, Israeli couscous. Um, but while I have reactions to leftover proteins and, and then like a little bit further down or a day or so later, um, I hit the end for my grains, veggies. I can have leftovers sort of several days later and be okay. So I've got those in the fridge. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I think I'm going to do a, uh, a roasted veggie bowl with them at some point. And then by the time I got to dinner, <laughs> which apparently I didn't film, I pushed the button, but I don't know if I pushed it twice. I'm guessing what happened is that I just ended up double tapping it. And so it started recording and then immediately stopped recording. And did I look? No, I just kind of went ma, 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 and didn't even think about it. Took a picture, ate my dinner. So I couldn't go back and do the video again. And then I was going through to edit and I was like, oh, there's no video for that. So yeah, but well, it wasn't exciting anyway. It was just a I, I took, it was one of the freezer meals. So I just took that out and heated it up because I didn't feel like cooking. That's why I made them. Uh, that's it. So I have not planned for tomorrow yet. I don't have any idea what I'm going to do or I don't know. I, I, I'm not there yet. It depends completely on how I feel. So we will see. I'm definitely not going anywhere. My road out here has not been scraped. Um, it is just, you know, I've probably got, I haven't been out into the yard to measure, but under my covered section of my porch, I have at least six inches of snow. And I think out in the yard, it's probably closer to a foot. Um, so yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm definitely not driving in that. So I'll be here. I'll do tomorrow too. But Sandy knew that. That's why I took her so much stuff last week. Because I told her that depending on what happened today, I didn't think I'd see her until maybe Saturday of this upcoming week. So, um, yes. Okay. I said I wasn't going to ramble. Let's, let's not ramble. Let's do our card. And then you can go. All right. What we got? <clears throat> No judgment. Gotta find my light. I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic, call it into my office, and tell it to take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the joy of simply being. Who hired that guy anyway? One day, when my video is short, remind me to tell you about IV, which is my sort of acronym for inner voice yelling. And yeah, that's, that's basically what I call my inner 
critic. It's Ivy. And she's not particularly nice to me at times. And yeah, so, and I think we, we all have them. And it's just a matter of finding a way to stop that cycle of sort of negativity that we get ourselves wound up into. So for tomorrow, no judgment, no judgment on yourself, no judgment on others, but especially on yourself. Progress, not perfection. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>